sunshine for today will warm back into the mid 60s. Much less wind today, and that's going to be a difference from yesterday. It's going to feel all in all much better to be outside because of less wind. Heights or winds rather out of uh, the west, around five miles per hour. We have a warm front coming this way through tomorrow. You're really going to notice the temperature change, and then a cool front arrives Wednesday. A few showers possible, and then we begin our downward slide uh, as we go into the weekend. But let's time out that first front here on the future cast. Clear skies through today, tonight, and tomorrow morning. The front approaches later on Tuesday, so we'll see increasing clouds, and this mostly arrives on Wednesday. But it's a pretty thin front. We're only going to see a band of showers push through the region, so I don't expect it to rain all day Wednesday. But behind that front, we will see a drop in our temperatures. We can actually look at this when we look in the upper atmosphere. This is at the 500 millibar of pressure level. And this gives us a clear indication of where the cold and warm air will be in the upcoming week. So we're getting into the warmer air as we go into Tuesday. Then here's this dip here. This is the colder air pushing our way through the end of the week. And it gets even colder by this upcoming weekend. Look how far that cold air dips all the way down into the southeast. So it's certainly going to be chilly for the first weekend of November. Seven day forecast 67 today with sunny skies. We're in the 70s tomorrow with increasing clouds. A couple of showers are possible Wednesday, back down to 68. Cooler Thursday and Friday, only close to 60 degrees. It looks like it's dry for Halloween, including trick or treating. Late that night into Saturday, the cold air rushes in. That could spark even a few flurries on Saturday. Highs will only be in the 40s over the weekend.